Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna talk about my least favorite Godzilla movies. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. In my last video, I talked about my favorite movies in the Godzilla franchise and preparation for Godzilla King of the Monsters. Although I'm a Godzilla fan, I understand the concept of good movies and bad movies in a franchise. So, here's my list. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Before I make criticisms of this movie, I first want to say that this movie has some interesting concepts. For example, I like the cyborg called Gigan, and personally, he is one of my favorite ones in the franchise. Another aspect of this movie that I like is the music. A lot of music from many movies with Akira Fukube is in this movie, and it sounds fantastic. However, the synopsis of this movie is really stupid. For example, the aliens in this movies are giant cockroaches. I am not joking. The aliens in this movies are cockroaches. <laughs> Besides the ridiculous idea of giant cockroaches as aliens, this movie has a lot of footage from previous Godzilla movies. For example, I saw footage from Ghidorah the Street of the Monster and War the Gigantuous. Godzilla vs. Megalon. It's funny that I mention that Godzilla vs. Gigan has giant cockroaches as aliens because Megalon is basically a giant cockroach. I saw this movie for the first time through a show called Mystery Science Theater 3000 and oh my god, that episode is the best way to see this film. Apart from Godzilla and Gigan, the new monsters are of course Megalon and Jet Jagar and it's very funny because the idea of Jet Jagar is from a competition for kids in Japan. I suppose that kids are way more creative than adults, but I guess that uh, Toho wanted an answer for Ultraman, so what the hell. Godzilla's Revenge. One aspect of this movie that I like was the jazz music at the beginning of the opening for the movie. Apart from that, I'm not a fan of this film. Like with the case for Godzilla vs. Megalon and Godzilla vs. Gigan, this film has a lot of footage from a lot of movies in the franchise. It's so funny how a lot of the movies that I don't like in the franchise have a lot of footage from different movies in the franchise. Godzilla Raise Again Before I make criticism of this film, I want to say that this film is the first movie in the Godzilla franchise that has the concept of monster versus monster. The original Godzilla from 1954 does not have any monsters apart from Godzilla, while this movie has a monster and the monster's name is Angelus. It's very funny how Angelus is the enemy of Godzilla in this movie, however, in the sequels, he is a friend of Godzilla. The main problem that I have with this movie is the monster fights and the human drama. Obviously, most people don't watch Godzilla movies for stories from humans. However, the story in this one is not that interesting and is super boring. Many other movies in the franchise have interesting characters. However, it's not the case for this film. The monster fights in this movie are very unnatural. It's very hard to explain. However, when you watch the fight between Godzilla and Angelus, Basically, the fight is super fast. Super fast as in the footage is speeding up during the fight. And it's so, 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 so distracting. Finally, the worst movie of the franchise is... Godzilla 1998. I have no words for this movie, but it's so bad. So, so bad. Like, there are so many videos with criticism of this movie that for criticism of this movie in this video will be very redundant. But anyway, that's my least favorite movies in the franchise. What do you guys think? Until next time, guys, take care.
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.